All right, we're going to wait just maybe a minute or two to let anyone else join before we start. If that's okay with everyone. Hey, Ted from Portugal. Hey, Crystal, how are you? I'm good. Um, how are you? The longest good. distance connection. <laughs> that's right. Uh, so you got the memo to wear the same shirt I was wearing today, too. I did. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> I was like, you're going to have better internet this. connection than me all the way where you're at. I'm going to it's free. It's not too bad. Where is Miss Vicky? Is she in? Yes. Yes. OK. I just saw an email trying to monitor all the things. Okay. Should I turn the, the doorbell off? Scott? Can we do that? Sure. <laughs> okay. I think we, we can get started. Should I wait another minute or two? We should start right on time. I said we start. Okay. okay. All How right. Gonna... Oh, that's... Can you hear a couple more show up? I'm like, oh. One more minute. Sorry, the doorbell's still ringing. People are still coming in. But I'll at least, I'll switch slides so that way you guys have something else to look at if that works. I'm pretty sure it's like blue shirt mafia today. Uh, red. Oh, it's definitely blue. Oh, uh, it's well, yeah. There's way more, Tony, way more Tony, red than blues. Or blue Tony than and Faye, we did not get the memo. Uh huh. Oh, sweet fucking Jesus. Okay. I think it's calmed down, so we're ready to start. All right. Good afternoon welcome to the summer spring going into summer 2022 certificate ceremony just have a few slides i'm going to mute ryan um so for those of you that do not know me um i am crystal hartman i'm the program manager at forge institute um, so first i'd like to thank everyone just for being here um, spending your lunch hour with us and celebrating the graduates of this program. Um, I'd also like to take a minute to recognize our workforce partners um, as they really make this program possible for the individuals. And um, we cannot express our appreciation more just for the, I guess, investment in our program as well as in, in these individuals because there's so much potential, there's so much need. And this was just such a great group of um, participants that are now graduates. So, Today marks the culmination of the grueling seven-week boot camp, um, and during my, one of my midterm check-ins, one of the graduates said to me that we're creating more than just a talent pipeline, that we are actually creating a culture, and we're changing how the communities are, and that really just kind of resonated with me because I think this particular class has really become such a tight-knit group, um, and it has really been a pleasure. So I am excited to celebrate all of you um, and have so many wonderful people on here to do the same. And so without further ado, I'm gonna hand over the mic to Scott and we'll get this thing started. Yeah, thanks, Crystal. Uh, are you pushing slides? Cause I oh, my Zoom is messed up. Did you know, I can hand it over to you if you'd like, but I can, I'll do the slides for you if you'd like. All right. I do not see them. Does anybody see the slides? Okay, I'm gonna like start over, unhit the record. It's one of those days, blame Tony. So let me go back because I really do want to make sure everybody knows our workforce partners um, that again, have really made this program possible. So thanks to all. Scott. There, now, now it's on me. So I, I thought I was doing something wrong. I recently changed to a Mac, 
from a PC and I've been, I well, from Windows and it's been a challenge. So I wasn't sure if I had my Zoom set up wrong, but- uh, Just me. Just you. <laughs> But uh, glad you're here today. Uh, just wanted to kind of jump into a few things. If I don't know you, I'm Scott Anderson. I'm the executive director at Forge Institute. I have the pleasure of working with Crystal and Tony and all the instructors. And, and I think I've met uh, almost everybody on here, unless there's family and friends of the participants uh, from the IT and Cyber Fundamentals class. I uh, just wanted to say welcome. Uh, no simple feat to get through this. Um, I have a couple of closing things, motivational things that I want to make sure I hit. Uh, but I'll go through a couple just overview slides on on Forge, um, our, our mantra forever one step ahead. I, I think that that what we're doing in Arkansas with with all those partners that that were just on that previous slide are is fantastic. Uh, we couldn't do it without them. Um, and we couldn't do it without Arkansans. Um, and, and this is this is a great program. And the cyber training bootcamp is just one piece uh, along with the uh, IT cyber fundamentals is just one piece of our Forge Academy. And I'm, I'm excited to see where all the participants go. Um, I, I would say that the second bullet on here develop Arkansas as a cyber defense state. Uh, I would I would argue with people that we are a cyber defense state um, and, and Forge is, is so grateful to be part of that uh, along with everybody else. So we're, we're creating a, a pipeline of talent. We're working in regards to creating economic opportunities for rural communities in the state, for uh, established corporations that are, that are looking to hire a talented workforce. And that's, that's the goal. Um, I, I get on my platform often about developing people, and that's what I'm passionate about, uh, and, and getting good jobs for people. Uh, so next slide, Crystal. Uh, leadership team, our CEO, Lee Watson, I met him when I built uh, the cyber schoolhouse out at Little Rock Air Force Base when I was part of the Arkansas Air National Guard. Um, I didn't grow up in in Arkansas, uh, but this is home now. I've been here since 96. Uh, it's, a, it's a beautiful state and, and I, I love the people here. I am an Arkansan. Uh, next slide, Crystal. And you all know Crystal, of course. She introduced herself. She's on the leadership team. Um, key stats, we've, we've got over 40 instructors we're bringing in uh, at, at Forge to run our academy. Uh, and get involved in other programs. Uh, we have a great board of advisors. Uh, these blue dots, uh, this map is probably a little bit old. Um, I need to make sure that all these participants are added. Uh, Crystal, will you take note of that so I don't forget? Um, Just wait a couple slides. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> on, in regards to our fellowship program, I'll briefly talk about that in a second. We have 43 fellows, uh, 19 active and pending start of uh, 24. Working with universities to do research, uh, partnered with over 23 organizations. Uh, some of the individuals on staff and some of the fellows have top secret clearances. Because as soon as you start talking about tech, uh, cybersecurity, you start getting into some, from my standpoint, national security concerns. Uh, and I'm happy to have a follow on conversation if anybody's interested in that. And the 10 programs are on the next slide, uh, which, go ahead, Crystal, which all focus around the, the cyber operations, which is Emerging Threat Center, our Arkansas Cyber Defense Center, which, which it doesn't just do support to the state. It also creates workforce opportunities and experience for people that are down in the Forge Academy, part of the fellowship. Um, we have an Ask a CISO program, Tech Talks. Information on all these things are on our website. I just wanted to take a moment and, and briefly talk about them. Um, but this isn't so much about Forge. This is about the, what you all have accomplished. Um, and, and in regards to why we need to do this now, um, small businesses, municipalities, utilities are, are huge targets when it comes to um, the evolving threats. 
And we need more people in our communities that are cyber smart, not just in regards to getting a good job, but our community needs them. And what better way to, to do that than develop people in our communities that live in our communities so that they can assist. Um, it's all about that, that digital transformation. Um, everything's interconnected now and, and our country needs, our state needs, lowercase s and capital S state need more capable people. And, and I think that, that we're getting there, um, not just with uh, all the other initiatives that our governor started with the computer science stuff, but this boot camp, communities are realizing there's a need and, and they're just, they're going after it. And, and I'm, I'm excited, like I said earlier. So next slide, I think cuts over to Tony. Um, but let me take one more second and kind of just say a few things is again, I'm, I'm, we couldn't have done this without the instructors and, and Tony's going to talk here in a second, but uh, I always try to do a few motivational things. Um, I, I like to encourage and challenge the, the participants that just graduated. Um, be confident in what you just experienced. Uh, and when I call it an experience, I hope that you are, you are wiser and you realize it's not just about knowing or understanding a specific topic that you actually got experience on keyboard doing things that you didn't think you'd ever know how to do. Uh, and don't ever stop doing that. I, I talked to you all the other day about never stop learning uh, because, because there's so much to learn. Uh, if you think you've experienced it all or you've learned or you completely understand something, just wait 15 minutes because something's gonna change. And, and you have to kind of have that mindset when it comes to technology, everything's interconnected. What I mentioned earlier with the emerging technologies, there's just more and more coming. There are jobs going to be advertised in a year that don't exist today. So keep your keep your eyes open, keep your uh, keep looking for opportunities, and and never stop seeking it, those experiences that make you wiser. So that that being said, I congratulate you all. Thank you all uh, for being here. And and Tony, I'm going to hand it over to you. Tony is an awesome instructor uh, that came in and poured his heart into this course. And I hope you all know that and along with the other instructors and um, coming out of the Marines background in instruction. And uh, Tony, I'm gonna hand it over to you. Thank you, Scott. Um, I am Tony Lakota. I've had the absolute privilege of being the lead instructor for this iteration of the Forge Institute IT Cyber Fundamentals course. It has been an amazing ride. Um, Scott mentions the Marine Corps thing. The stories are all true, but that's not what happened in this course. It was a loving and supportive environment, not like I'm used to from my past, but we had a great time along the way. Uh, first and foremost, partners, family members, friends, guests, everyone that's on the call today, thank you for being here. It means a lot to me, but I know it means a lot to the graduates as well. Over the past seven weeks, they've challenged themselves. They've challenged each other. And, and more importantly than that, they have risen to meet and surpass those challenges. They've grown so much along the way over the past seven weeks. They've never once stopped exceeding those expectations that we've set for them. On that note, for the guests, for those that are joining us outside of the class, I want to give you just a little bit of an insight into some of the things that our graduates have experienced along the way. Forge Institute's fundamentals course is designed to provide these participants, now graduates, with the knowledge, skills, and the abilities that they need to confidently and competently enter the field as well-trained and fully qualified IT and cybersecurity professionals. The training itself, we use a scaffolded approach which means that we incorporate all three fundamental learning modalities, auditory for, for those that learn best by hearing. Uh, we do the visual, you learn best by seeing, and then we get a little bit of kinesthetic or those hands-on learners as well. We teach the concepts, we talk about them, then we demonstrate the skills. And finally, after we've laid the, the foundation and the base work, the participants get the hands-on training in our virtual lab environments to solidify those concepts and those topics that they've already heard and seen. 
During the course, our participants have learned network concepts, networking protocols and frameworks and everything that, that goes on behind the scenes to get communications from point A to point B. A lot of it happens every single day and we just don't realize it. These participants, these graduates, they now have an understanding of how all of that works. They've also had probably uh, what seems like a few too many hours of hands-on training in Windows and Linux operating system environments. They've demonstrated skills in command line administration, individual and group account management, domain configuration, and they've interacted with a lot of different server roles and functions in their virtual training environments. They've learned basics of coding, database management, concepts of product lifecycle management, software and patch management procedures, and best practices. And they've also learned about secure IT architecture design, defense in depth strategies, public infrastructure, and the legal and regulatory requirements that tie everything together. And keep in mind, this was all just in seven weeks. They persevered through it all. Um, and I know we're on Zoom, it's all remote, but if we could just give a round of applause and congratulate and recognize these graduates for all of their hard work for the past seven weeks. And for the graduates, you've all been waiting. I'm not going to cry. If I do, it's just a glitch in the screen. You think back on those same seven weeks, how much we've accomplished and everything that you've gone through, and mentally continue that celebration and applaud yourselves for your hard work. We started off on April 20th, a total group of strangers. Everybody was camera shy. Everybody was very timid. Different walks of life. Uh, we were spread across the state and even into different states across the country as well. You've gone through 18 days, uh, 144 total hours listening to Derek and myself run our mouths, trudging your way through the PowerPoints so we could get to the fun stuff, the hands-on and those virtual training environments. You've taken 13 different assessments, some of you <laughs> more than that along the way, and the classes collectively increased the knowledge by over 56% across all aspects of the course, which is phenomenal. You prepared and then expertly delivered capstone projects, which highlighted your skills and the knowledge as you stepped out of your comfort zone and took advantage of your time to shine. And everybody did amazing with that. That's not to mention all of the coaching sessions, the endless calendar invites, the Zoom meetings, the late night, I broke my virtual machine and I don't know what to do, Slack messages, and then the one-on-one -on -one sessions that we had along the way. Every single one of you has not only met the requirements, but you've sacrificed your own free time to hone your skills, to, to build your craft and to learn new things. And you didn't stop there. You shared those things with the rest of the class as well. Um, and it sounds cliche, but the group that has started out as total strangers has become a little family. We have our class mom and our class dad, brothers and sisters, um, and every single one of you has last, uh, left excuse me, a lasting impression on me. So with that being said, this is the part we're all waiting for, and I'm not going to cry. It has been a privilege, it has been an honor, and it has been my absolute pleasure to have the opportunity to help guide you on this journey as you prepare to enter the workforce as certified information technology and cybersecurity professionals. Let's do another round of applause. They have all done phenomenal the past seven weeks. At this time, I would like to recognize our distinguished graduates who have set themselves apart with their outstanding assessment scores, continuous engagement during the class and throughout all class activities. They demonstrated knowledge, skills, and technical abilities that are required during this course, and they've continued to shine from start to finish throughout the entire training program. And I expect nothing but success and wish them nothing but success and the best in their futures. Phenomenal job. Um, and at this time, Megan Coleman and Bert Ballard have actually offered to share just a few words with us this afternoon. So on that note, I will pass the virtual microphone off to Megan. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Megan Coleman and I'm from Helena, West Helena, Arkansas. And for starters, I just want to say thank you so much, Forge, for even having this program for us. And I've really enjoyed my time here and I, I have learned so much. Personally, 
I always knew I wanted to pursue you a career in IT. If you hear my daughter, <laughs> she she likes to be on camera. I told Megan we start them young, so we have enough room in the pipeline. But personally, I always knew I wanted to start a career in IT. I just didn't know exactly how or what I wanted to do. But I did go to college, but and I did receive my bachelor's degree, but none of the computer courses that I took in college can compare to what I've learned here at Forge and the hands-on experience has just been so great. I have really gained she's playing with my microphone now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I really gained so much confidence in myself and I really believe that I can accomplish anything that I put my mind I to. For the so once again, thank oh, you, no, Forge. No, no, thank no, you to Tony. No, 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 thank you, Derek. No, no. And thank you, no, Crystal, no, no. for everything. No, no, no. Thanks, Megan. Bert, you're up. Hi, my name is uh, Bert Ballard. Um, I'm going to try to keep the tears back as much as I can. But uh, 62 years, I've gone through a lot of training. I've done a lot of different things in my life. This was a new thing that I thought, I really didn't think I would even get through the gauntlet to get through the initial testing. And I was so shocked and, and amazed that I did. And uh, but in 62 years, I've never been through anything like, like this experience. Um, they call it a fire hose approach. That's about the tamest way you could ever describe what we just did in seven weeks. It, it's, like, it's like fire hoses is what it is. It's so much information, but it just, it seemed like about the time that I would get to a point where I would think that I'm not grasping this, Tony, Chris, Derek, or Crystal, one of y'all would step up, say the magic thing, and it, the light bulbs would go off. The other thing that happened was every one of the family of spring of 22, you guys taught me a ton. I can't tell you how many times you guys illuminated the light bulb for me. Every one of you, I'm, I'm much richer and I'm much better off knowing each and every one of you. So, I just want to take the time to thank Forge for doing this. It blew my mind. How I can't imagine how much it took to develop this and for how much that you guys have done for each and every one of us. It's like you gave this 62 year old a fresh start. I mean, you know, I, I saw the Ameriprise commercial years ago with uh, Dennis Hopper, where he talked about when in retirement, go out, do something new, try, you just go do it. And the thing, I had no clue that I would be able to come to this class and in seven weeks, be able to go out and get a career in IT and cyber in the cyber field. I know I can now. I know every one of us in our class can now. And uh, so I just wanna thank Lee, the organization, again, Crystal, Tony, Derek, Chris, and all of the, all of the uh, coaches that talked to us on the Wednesday, every one of y'all had a huge impact as well. I just wanna thank each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. I I can't, Bert, I can't believe you're making me, I mean, I don't know if you realize that I'm speaking after you. Okay, so Sorry. with that. We should change the slide this time. So we had the pleasure of having different coaches come in. So not only were they learning all these technical skills and their every day's packed, I decided on Wednesdays, I'm gonna take their lunch hour and we're gonna do coaching sessions. And so the we did, there's six different ones there um, that we went through. And it's really just to help with kind of the soft skills and just some, I have to say the coaches that we actually brought in were more of like motivational speakers. Um, and so it really just kind of awakened everyone just to how to be better at this and how to how to go in the day. Um, but it really helped to prepare for the journey ahead. Um, we actually provided everyone with smart resumes and with an access to career score, which we are all working through. And I think that'll give me some leverage to still uh, be able to speak with them on a regular basis. 
Um, and then also we have the foundation to build on. So uh, our partners at North, our college in UA Little Rock have extended the opportunity to the graduates to receive credit hours for the IT Cypher Fundamental. My internet just went. You'll all get a lovely uh, graduation certificate package, but before my internet totally cuts out, we have one of our very special coaches who, again, um, my favorite go in the day. Ted, would you like to share some of your experience on the coaching side? Absolutely. I'd love to. Uh, I kept being concerned it was my internet, so I'm glad it was your internet. No, it's probably mine. Uh, <laughs> I am so thankful to have been a part of coaching uh, a few weeks ago with this group. And I've loved seeing the stories that have come out of it. Come out of it. When I hear Megan and Bert talk about their experience and their relationship, it's just a reminder of how great this organization is and what you're doing. You know, the things that I would encourage you is, um, just as they said earlier, it doesn't stop here. You need to now go out and start searching for opportunities. And as you've learned, they are there. But what is going to separate you from the competition? Right now, we're in a season where there is a lot of movement, but there's still a lot of need. So one of the things that you'll find, and we talked about it in, in the time that I got to spend with you, is that you have the opportunity to tell your story. And so I would urge you to continue to leverage LinkedIn. You know, I saw uh, Bert uh, posted not long ago, a couple of days ago, the airplane where he was with, or the helicopter, sorry, where he was with uh, a couple of the others. And I just want to reiterate the importance of that is that you've got organizations that will be watching you and supporting you. I know from my perspective, I'm going to do everything I can to try to help you grow and succeed and to go win the day, just as Crystal said, but you have a part in that as well. So the journey is just beginning, and I love to, to hear from Bert and to see how he feels rejuvenated at 62 years old, but um, now it's getting in front of people. It's doing the work to get your name out there name and to really go shine. There. shine. To really go and, uh, shine. Yeah, I'm getting some echo. Can you hear me okay? Perfect. Um, so I'm still getting echo. There's a little bit of an echo, but I can never tell if it's mine. So I just am All like, right. it's always my internet. Okay. Well, I think it's better now. So, you know, I just want to reiterate on that note that you are in control of writing your own story. So leverage the, the LinkedIn platform to really get your name out there, connect with people um, and go find those opportunities. They're there and they're there in abundance, but just go, go to work and take it day by day. Thanks for having me as part of it. Thank you, Ted. Um, I see that Jeremy McCauley is on here too, and I won't uh, put you on the spot, but I just want to say thank you for coming in um, and doing a coaching session as well. We appreciate you, um, you know, kind of talking about starting your profession um, or journey into IT and cyber. So thank you. Uh, I also want to now introduce our more wittier instructor, uh, Mr. Derek Pouch. So I'm Derek Couch. Tony did do, I would say, the majority of the teaching. Um, I did 10% teaching and I was probably 90% uh, comedic relief for the class. Um, and it was, it was great to, to just see all the light bulbs go off throughout the course of this class, you know, taking everybody in on day one and they were just, some were even reluctant to even turn their camera on. And then now here we are at our seven week mark and none of us really want to say goodbye. Um, so it's been, it's been a great pleasure and honor to be able to teach with you guys, get to know everybody and just share some experiences with you. Bert, Bert really, really touched some heartstrings. I was trying to, trying to keep it together. I'm glad, I'm glad Crystal had to talk after I did. So I was, I was able to, to wrangle that back in before I had to, to come back out here and talk. 
So we will move on to our certifications. Like what everyone's really been waiting for this whole time. This makes it official. I'll just make everybody else wait. No, I'm kidding. We'll we'll continue to move on. All right. First off, we have Miss Amy McCarthy. She came in from her homestead on her Starlink internet from Elon Musk. Um, it was great just being able to, to see her take in everything that we did and how she was able to apply that for her capstone. So we were, we were really glad to have you, Miss Amy. Next up, we have Mr. Andrew Wester. He was a part of Forge as our fellowship team. We uh, wrangled him in to be part of our IT fundamentals class. He was prior 20 years Air Force, and now we are setting him free into the world. And next up, we have Mr. Burt Ballard. I won't use his real name. He told me not to do that. So we won't do that. If you need any free plane rides, reach out. He will be glad to take you up and spin you around. Uh, we have Mr. Carlos Martinez. He is another Forge fellow. He is coming to us from Maryland. So he got to do this completely, completely remote. Um, but it was great having him here, sharing his experiences with us as a prior Marine and getting to see his, his IT experience grow as well. All right, we have Miss Kaylee Bartlett up next. Um, she is in the Air National Guard. She is the one who makes all the rainy weather when we don't want it. So if you, if you have any issues with that, be sure to message her and let her know we want sunshine and rainbows. Up next, we have Miss Karen Satterfield. She was just a great light to have in the class throughout our seven weeks. Um, what she brought every day was just this great energy that made us want to keep teaching, even when it was just dragging on for hours and hours and hours. All the questions were great, Miss Karen. Thank you. Up next, we have Ms. Kayla Ganey. She was also another spark plug for our seven weeks. She had plenty of questions. Um, she challenged Tony on a daily basis, and it was, it was an experience to get to, uh, to witness every single day. So thank you for that. Up next, we have Ms. Linda Grove. This was a great teaching because of all of the remote issues that we had, but Miss Linda was still able to get the fundamentals that we were trying to teach. She was able to participate. And no matter how difficult it got or how frustrating the connections were, she never gave up and quit. She continued to show up every day. So it was, it was really great to have you there, Miss Linda. We have Mr. Marco Torres up next. He, he was pretty quiet on camera for all seven weeks. Uh, last, the last week or so, we really got him engaged and got him to share some things. Uh, so going from no IT experience to what he was able to do seven weeks later was incredible to witness. We were really glad you were here with us, Marcos. Marco, sorry. And up next, we have Miss Megan Coleman. Uh, she got to speak to you guys earlier. It was great to have her. Um, we got to see her daughter pop in and out a lot. So that was great to see. Um, maybe we'll be able to get her into some IT fundamentals, or you can just teach her everything that you've learned throughout this process, and she'll be, she'll be ready to go at 12 years old. Up next, we have Oswaldo Burgess. He was our, 
our hacker for the seven weeks. Um, he was who we really had to pay close attention to. And we had to really figure out what we wanted to teach, how dangerous we wanted to make Oswaldo to, uh, to be before we released him out into the, uh, the world of cybersecurity. Next, we have Mr. Phoenix Daly. He was the youngest person in our class at 17. Um, it was great seeing him come through with no IT experience. I know he said he doesn't even have any internet or anything like that at home. So he's gonna get set up to where whenever he does go off to college, he will have this good IT fundamentals to, to hopefully find a good job to support him while he is making his way through that rigorous college experience Uh, we have Miss Sheila Stanfield next. Uh, she did have a prior IT background. We were going to let her teach a few of the classes, but she was highly reluctant to uh, to take us up on that. But whenever it came down to actually getting hands on work, she was she was probably one of the best at showing and displaying what she knew and how we could take what we taught in class and apply that to a real world setting. Up next, we have Mr. Tyler Provincio. He was another great student to have, started off very quiet, um, but after the weeks progressed, he, he really took in everything that we taught and was able to, to replicate that and then put his own spin on it and really show that he was learning it. Uh, so I think he will have a very successful IT career in, in his future. And he was the last one on our slide list. He was. Um, so I, just because I wasn't sharing my uh, screen in the beginning, uh, but not only do I just actually another round of applause, I'm like sad. So can I just drag this on for eight more minutes at least to just keep everyone here? Um, no, it, this has been a really great group. And again, thank you so much to our, our workforce partners that make this possible. Um, and everyone did amazing. I can't say it enough. I don't, you guys, my biggest thing is if you can show up, you're 50% of the way there. And every single one of you showed up. I mean, it's, it's unbelievable the transformation that you all made and just watching from the first time you did your 30 second pitch to the very last time. It's, it's just an amazing transformation. So go celebrate this weekend. Um, if you need something to do on Monday in your board, just let us know. We'll jump on Zoom. Um, but thank you to everyone that joined us. And if you're looking to hire any of these great individuals or you're looking for IT and cyber people in the near future, you know where, where to come. We've got 15 of them. So they're all eager and ready to get into the IT and cyber realm. So thank you again. I'm so thankful to be part of the journey. Thank you to the instructors for being so amazing. Um, and really, this was probably one of the best class that we've ever had. I think that it was just, again, it was just a really good group, really good instructors, and I'm just happy to be a part of it. So Scott, you wanna say anything before we? Yeah, I just up? wanted to shout out to one more individual that we couldn't have done the course without, and that was Crystal. So thank you, Crystal, for everything you do. But now I'm the queen of calendar invites, Slack messages, emails, reminders. Turn your camera on, everyone. Let's go. Always with bad internet, though. So, yeah. Yeah. So I just wanted to again say thank you for everybody that's here. Um, so proud of everybody that just completed this this task, and and uh, I think this experience is fantastic. Spread the word. Uh, we we want our 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 state needs more talented IT and cyber people, period. Um, and, and I could extend that out to our nation as well. So if you know of anybody who would be interested or just a little bit interested, send them, send them our way. And you're alumni, so we're hoping that we're going to stay engaged for, for a long time. I'm not telling you all to go get a forged tattoo, but uh, I would definitely say that you're, you're part of our family now, and I'm, I'm glad for it. So y'all have a fantastic rest of your day.
and uh, and we can. All right. Thanks, everybody. Enjoy your afternoon off on a Friday. Congratulations, everyone. Congrats. Congrats, everyone. Yes. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Amazing you. ride, y'all. Hope to see you at the barbecue. Yep. Sounds good. Have a good weekend, everyone. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.